Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, we are going to use the Canon F792SGA calculator to do the matrix calculation, such as adding matrix, subtracting matrix, matrix inverse, matrix determinant, adjoint, uh, identity, and other calculation with matrix. So this calculator can record, uh, can uh, do the calculation of matrix of up to four by four. Uh, that's the maximum it can do, which is still enough and uh, amazing. Uh, the second thing is you can store up to four matrix plus one memory matrix or answer matrix, five matrix. So you can do the calculation of up to four or five matrix together, but four matrix can be stored. So in order to do the calculation, we first uh, store uh, matrix in the memory and then do the calculation or some inverse or determinant of some matrix over that matrix which is in the memory so let's get started okay just press mode press 7 go to matrix so now i'm storing a matrix uh, let's say this is a matrix a that i have on the screen i want to store matrix a into the memory so for matrix a i press 1 now it asks me for the dimension. The dimension is 4x4, four 4x2, by four, four by and all of the possible dimensions. This arrow shows I, that I can go down and see another screen, and then now it shows I have more. So 4x3, three, 3x2, three so 3x3 three three is the one that I'm looking for, so I'm pressing 2. Now this screen is presented with a 3x3 three three matrix shown at the top, matrix A. Now to enter all the values, I'm just pressing entering them like that in a row so seven four five seven and then enter and then equal sign four and equal sign and five so seven equal sign I'm pressing equal here on the calculator four and then equal five and equal so once I enter the cursor as you can see goes to the next line now enter the second row so from left to right two three zero every time press equal so two equal three equal zero equal now i'm the, on the next line so eight one nine eight equal one equal nine equal once everything is completed after nine once you press equal sign that matrix is done i can press on or all clear so clear all so the screen is now there don't worry if you have matrix here all the values are within the memory and then to bring up the memory, so that was entering the memory, to bring up the memory, we press apps here and matrix A here, number three. So this brings our matrix that you see in here on the screen. So I'm pressing clear all. Again, screen is over. So uh, now let's, uh, let's enter this matrix B into the memory. So now, uh, uh, so now that screen disappeared. This way, now we we'll go press app button and then number two, data. Now it says which matrix. So this time I'm going to put it in B, which is number two. I'm pressing two. Now with the arrow, go lower and find three by three, which is number two. So minus one for the minus, you can press this minus or you can press this minus. Both of them will work. So doesn't matter so minus 1 equal and then 5 and then 26 I'm entering them in a row so this way and then 3 14 9 and then last row 0 4 and then uh, 8 after 4 plus equal sign and then 8 equal sign clear all so now this uh, value has been entered now let's say you want to do add a with b so to recall or bring the matrix press up matrix a number three and then press e plus sign and then go to app and bring matrix b press four so that's matrix a plus matrix b so this is the answer all the values you can sometimes if you see the decimal this shows the actual value which we will see in the next uh, soon soon you will see it clear all so let's say you want to do b times a to do 
the b times a press matrix and press bring matrix b number four times matrix a three so this is b times a so now this is the answer as you can see all the values when you bring the cursor also you read the value here now let's say now the result of this calculation is stored in memory and which is called matrix answer m-a-t-a-n-s now let's say i want to do matrix answer uh, plus matrix a so the result plus to a you want to add, add the result to a so seven matrix answer plus again apps number three so that the result of before which was a times b is plus a you're adding it to a so this way you can do that or may maybe multiply it by two now let's say you want to find the determinant of matrix a all clear press apps this arrow shows that we can go down so here we have all these uh, functions so number one determinant so the parenthesis open just recall matrix a press apps and for matrix a press three close it and then press equal sign so that is a determinant determinant of a matrix is always a number so that's seven <coughs> okay so let's get matrix inverse of a so press apps come down get inverse which is number five and then now bring a so apps matrix a number three close it so this is the inverse of matrix a now as you can see this is decimal sometimes you need exact value in your calculations so that's 27 over 7 so here it shows as a decimal at the lower part it shows actual so when i bring this uh, cursor to the next value you will see the values will change accordingly you can do also the matrix inverse another way so press apps let's say matrix b you want to get the, the inverse so for this button which is inverse and in, uh, normal calculation will work here as well so just press to the inverse the same way that you write it in your linear algebra class so this is the matrix b the inverse of matrix b now well, let's say you want to get a transpose of matrix a press apps go down brings trn which is transpose and then bring matrix a by pressing apps number three close it so this is a transpose so all the row goes to column and column becomes the row so that is a transpose and we know that if you do uh, inverse of a transpose of a matrix sorry this was uh, this is inverse so inverse of a matrix times a matrix is identity matrix so let's test that and get the matrix inverse number five bring matrix a which is three so that is inverse of a matrix times i'm bringing actual matrix a three so inverse of a matrix a times by matrix a will give you an identity you see identity is a matrix which is diagonal so now uh, let's say you want to get a joint of a matrix to do let's say other calculation or do the inverse finding an in inverse so at joint of a matrix just press apps go down and get at joint number four and bring the matrix that you want i'm bringing matrix b this time number four close it so that is a joint of that matrix so this was a brief introduction uh, to using matrix and the scan and calculator if you like the video please thumb up and also please subscribe in order to get updates on my upcoming videos thanks for watching